Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, today we are going to solve one very challenging problem from rational equations. So let's get started. Equation is x power 9 plus x equal to 1 over x power 8 plus 1. Let me write domain of the equation. Denominator we have x, so x cannot be 0. Now, as x cannot be 0, so I can multiply both sides with x power 8. Okay, let's multiply x power 17 plus x power 9 equal to 1 plus x power 8. Take all the term to LHS. x power 17 minus x power 8 plus x power 9 minus 1. Now I can see x power 8 from first two term we can take common. So x power 9 minus 1, x power 9 minus 1 equal to 0. So from here we can conclude x power 9 minus 1 times x power 8 plus 1 equal to 0. So ultimately the given equation converted into the product of two brackets or two equations. So what we will write equation number 1 for which we will find out 9 solutions and second equation we will get 8 solutions from there. Now you can see easily using complex number this will be very very easy and using algebra this will be very very easy. You can apply simple algebraic identities you can find out result. So let's get started by considering the first equation x power 9 minus 1 equal to 0. I can see it is x cube whole cube minus 1 whole cube equal to 0. Now a cube minus b cube. Let me write here quickly equal to 0. So x cube whole cube minus 1 whole cube equal to 0. So I can write x cube minus 1 a cube minus b cube a minus b in second bracket a square plus a b plus b square it is equal to 0. So from first bracket we can write either x cube minus 1 will be 0. Second bracket we can write x 6 plus x cube plus 1 equal to 0. So from first equation we can write x cube minus 1. So there will be three solutions. Again I will apply a cube minus b cube. a minus b a square plus a b plus b square. So now we are having three equations x minus 1 equal to 0 from here we will conclude x equal to 1 is our first solution. Second equation if I will put equal to 0 that means x square plus x plus 1 then I will find out the other two solutions x will be equal to minus b plus minus a square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now I can write minus 1 plus minus i root 3. A square root of negative 1 is i. So we can write i anytime divided by 2. So far we have calculated 3 solutions. 2 are complex and 1 is real. Okay. Now come to the hexic equation. This equation we will solve. So I will write here x power 6 plus x cube plus 1 equal to 0. So if you will think that we should proceed through substitution, so we can write let x cube equal to t or you can directly write this is quadratic in x cube. So we can write x cube directly. Now you can see it is t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0. So t will be that is x cube equal to t equal to minus b. So minus 1 plus minus same result we will get b square. So 1 minus 4ac. So minus 4 divided by 2a. Okay. Now you can see it is minus 1 plus minus i root 3 divided by 2a. That is 2. And left hand side we have x cube. 
So six solution we have to find out how it would be possible. I will convert this cubic equation first. First I will write in the form of Euler's identity exponential form. So how I can write? You can see it is minus 1 by 2 cosine is negative root 3 by 2 sine is positive. It is in the second quadrant. So we can write directly e raised to the power plus minus i 2 pi over 3. Now you can check cos 2 pi over 3 you will get minus 1 by 2 sine 2 pi over 3 root 3 by 2. Okay. Once you will take minus sign then it would be in third quadrant both sine and cosine will be negative. Okay. Let me write here x cube will become e raised to the power plus minus i 2 pi over 3. This is principal solution and we are looking for general solution. So what, what we have to do? We will add 2k pi over here. Now it is generalized. Now whatever we can take common, I will write. Suppose I am taking 2 pi over 3 common. Then I can consider in bracket 1 plus 3k where k belongs to integer, k belongs to 0, 1, 2 if we will take cube root. So let me take cube root also. This is x cube. x will be x will be e raised to the power plus minus i times 2 pi over 9 cube root 1 plus 3k. Now we will write k equal to 0, 1, 2. Let me find out the six solutions by putting k equal to 0, 1, 2. So I will write k x is equal to from k equal to 0. So x will come out e raised to the power plus minus i 2 pi over 9. x value from k equal to 1. I will write e raised to the power plus minus i times 8 pi over 9. Simply put the value k equal to 1. So you will get in bracket 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Now put k equal to 2. So you will get 6 plus 1 7 times 2 14. I will write i times 14 pi over 9. So we have solved all the 9 solutions. Okay. Now we will take up 9 solutions are done. 3 were these are 6 and 3 were x equal to 1. Let me write here x equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. So here we are having 9 solutions. Now let me take the second equation. It was x power 8 plus 1 equal to 0. I will use algebra. So I will write x power 8 as x power 4 whole square plus 1. Now I am adding 2x power 4 and I am taking away the same equal to 0. Now first three terms. These three terms we can sum up and we can write it is x power 4 plus 1 whole square. You can check x power 8 plus 1 plus 2x power 4. Now second term we can write square root 2 x square whole square. Difference of two squares. So I can frame two brackets in the product form. So what I will write x power 4 plus root 2x square plus 1 in one bracket and x power 4 minus root 2x square plus 1 in second bracket. Now we will solve these quadratic looking equation but you can say this is quadratic in x square also. So I will write here I will write x power 4 plus root 2 x square plus 1 equal to 0 and second equation if I will club over here then I can write minus here. So let me solve this equation I will write x square will be equal to minus b so minus b so plus will be converted into minus so I will write minus plus square root 2 plus minus square root b square whether it is positive or negative square will be 2 okay minus 4ac so 4 divided by 2a so 2 minus plus square root 2 
Now see minus 2 in the square root. So I can write plus minus i root 2 divided by 2. Now denominator 2 if I will divide I can write minus plus 1 plus minus i divided by root 2. Okay. Now see it is x square. So what we should write here in Euler's form. So in Euler's form if I will write with plus sign and with minus sign separately. So I will write here x square is equal to suppose I am taking minus first minus 1 plus minus i over root 2 and if I am writing plus 1 plus minus i over root 2 in Euler's form I can write e raised to the power plus minus i 3 pi over 4. How you can conclude? It is minus 1 by root 2. Cosine is a negative. That means either it would be in second or th uh, third quadrant. So you will write plus minus i 3 pi over 4. Means second and fourth, second and third, first and fourth quadrant. Now here I will write e raised to the power plus minus i pi over 4. This is our x square. So x will be taking a square root both sides plus minus sign will come and see the powers denominator will be by 2. 3 pi over 8 and here also I will write plus minus i pi over 8. So here we are having 8 solutions. You can check 8 solutions are here and 9 we have calculated so far. I hope this video will be meaningful for you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.